Hi guys, thanks for coming back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a what's in my bag on this cutie right here. Um, if you guys aren't following me on Instagram, I'll leave my handle right here. You want to follow me on Instagram because I am more very active on Instagram. Probably every other day I post something and I'm just updating you on what I'm wearing, my life updates and what's going on. Um, but I purchased this handbag on Amazon and it's a Chanel kind of inspired or inspired handbag that they've come out with that is the PVC, the clear handbag. And I got really excited about, you know, the style, but spending $3,000 on a clear plastic bag was a little ridiculous in my opinion. So when I saw this one on Amazon for literally $35, I figured I could take and play with the trend and save a lot of money. So I wanted to go through this handbag and also kind of show you what I keep inside here and how I kind of style this bag. I think it's really important when you have like a clear bag that you kind of style it correctly because people can actually see what you, you're, what's in your bag. So I'm gonna go through all of that, but if you are interested in seeing what I keep in my bag and the information on how to get one of these for yourself, just keep watching. All right, so this bag is a uh, clear PVC handbag, but on Amazon. Uh, this color just happens to be white. I really wanted a white handbag for, um, for summer. I was really interested in the Gucci Marmont white bag with the gold hardware, and I was obsessed with the bag. I couldn't decide if I really wanted it, how long I would wear it, um, and just justify the price. And so when I saw this bag, I figured this will you know, give me that satisfaction of the white leather or the white detail of something for summer. So picked it up. Again, it was $35. I'll leave all the links down below so you can purchase it. It comes in black with gold hardware, it comes in silver trimming, and I believe it also comes in gold trimming. All right, so it has, has two little grommets here on each side to where you have two separate um, chains here. Now, you could wear it on your shoulder like this, which I saw myself wearing uh, recently. Well, I've had this bag for a couple days, but I saw myself like gravita gravitating towards wearing it like this just because of the convenience. But most days, I really love wearing a crossbody. So you just kind of like pull the chain up. Again, this is very Chanel inspired. So if you guys know anything about Chanel bags, you can do the same exact thing. And it's probably very... Um, comparable to the I guess the medium large size um, so this is the way I typically like to wear it you'll see me wearing it like this in most of my pictures all right so on the back you'll have a little pocket which I do not use I think that the because it's plastic it kind of like sticks to the other side of the plastic and I think it's kind of useless but it's just, just my opinion it has kind of like a turn lock here, very similar to the Chanel um, reissue back, and it opens just like that. All right, so here is some of the details of what's in my bag. And I took your I took your advice when you when filming these what's in my bags is you guys wanted to see the bag in focus or the bag in the frame while I'm showing you all my stuff. You guys aren't really always interested in what I actually carry around. You're more interested in the bag, so. I'm gonna try to go through this stuff in my bag faster and then show you this bag empty. All right, first thing I carry is always my phone. This is a six plus and it's, so you, size reference, you know that it will fit in the bag. Um, if you did want to use it on the back pocket, I guess it does fit in here. Like you can, you can fit the phone in the back pocket if you really wanted to. But I think it's a little tight and it's a little like, I don't know, I'm not a fan. All right, I have my keys, which is like a Louis Vuitton um, clay with my keys attached to it. I have my new sunglasses. I'm obsessed with these um, oversized Gucci <laughs> frames. I mean, look how obnoxious these glasses are and they make me feel like extremely, I feel like one of those nights where you had like a drunken night and you woke up and you are in full blown morning after hung over, I'm going to brunch. Those are my 20s when I was, <laughs> those were my literally 
all weekends in my 20s. Um, basically, it's, I just love this style because it completely covers your face. You literally don't need to wear any makeup. You can totally just wear these glasses. And I love how dark the frames are. Like, you can't see through the lenses to my eyes, which I love. So those are my new glasses, my new purchase. And then I have this little pouch. So because it's clear bag, you know, I'm not really super organized when it comes to my other purses because you really can't see my purse. So I don't really care what it looks like inside as long as I have all my stuff. So I purchased this little, I guess, like makeup case. This is one of those um, gift for purchases I think you can get with perfume or makeup or something like that. And it just has a little Chanel symbol there. I chose the Chanel symbol over like the wording Chanel, but I think both of them would look really cool inside the purse. And I like to kind of, the way I like to organize this, here's my wallet. I was really interested in getting the YSL, um, the St. Laurent wallet like this. I find it really, um, easy to keep your cards up front here and then you have this little zip pouch here where you can keep coins and money and then it even has this one little side pocket so this literally was only $7.99 so I wanted to test it out before I spend $250, $300 on a YSL one but I really love this one it comes in a couple different colors I'll leave a link down below and again I bought set Target so what I like to do can you guys see my bag? I like to take my wallet and put it down on the bottom as the base. One, nobody can see it that way because it's like flat like that. And then I like to take my little makeup pouch and I like to sit it right on top so that you see this Chanel symbol right in the front. That way you could kind of play around with placing all your other items. So I got my keys in the back, which nobody really cares about seeing, right? Then my glasses in the back. And then I could stick my phone also in the back. So when you close the bag, the way you see the bag is that you kind of see the black makeup bag as the main focus with the Chanel symbol. And I kind of just love the way it looks. Sorry, I can't see you guys there. I have a mirror right here, so I have to see it for myself. So I kind of visioned my bag to kind of look like this. I mean, I've seen people style their bag with Louis Vuitton things and makeup cases and other things. I mean, I have a makeup bag here that, you know, Louis Vuitton that you can totally stick in here if you really wanted to and cover the whole bag and just use that as a pouch too. But I loved the colors of the black and white and the white trimming with the clear. I just, that was kind of just more of my preference on what I really liked. All right. So, Again, I will leave all the information down below if you guys are interested in picking one up for yourself. I think that they're such a fun little trend for summer to play around with, to, uh, I mean, $35. Why not have fun with it, right? Uh, pick up a couple different colors if you really want to. And um, yeah, I love wearing a crossbody. I think it's a super fun play on the Chanel one. Um, again, super cheap, super affordable, extremely trendy for summer this season. And I wanted to thank you guys for watching this whole video and getting through it. And again, thanks so much for watching my video. Don't forget to subscribe. If you guys are new to my channel, I'm Jessica. I make videos here on my channel on fashion and beauty and lifestyle. And I would love for you guys to be subscribed and get notified when I make new videos. If you guys have any video uh, ideas, please leave them down below. And I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.